Let's get it, y'all. Anybody ready for Sephora? Ooh. I gotta get this again during the sale. Yes. Blue. Hey, hey friends, hey family. Como estas bienvenidos? It's your girl, Melissa Q back with another video and as you can tell from the title it is time for sephora vib now uh, it is not november y'all it's august but they're coming with the sephora vib summer savings like i guess the hot girl type of video um the hot girl savings you know what i'm saying so in today's video i'm gonna share with you guys what i recommend and of course my wish list so if you're interested then keep watching okay so first of all i am sephora vib i am not rouge although i might be there based upon gifts i seem to be creeping up to the rouge category just from skincare alone which i do believe is huge but before we get into that i definitely want to share two things which are the dates and then also don't forget to use your ebates well it's not called rebates right now I don't want to jack up this name, but it's like Rakuten, Rakuten, y'all, y'all know what I'm, Rakuten, whatever, y'all, I'm going to put the name here, okay, we're not going to mess that up anymore, but you definitely want to get some cash back, okay, there are some other, I guess, search engines or certain apps that you can use to get cash back, but that's the one that I use, and I really enjoy it, so just wanted to share that with you guys, if you're interested, I definitely will um leave a link down in the description box below so you guys can sign up because it's an awesome way to save some money and to get some money back you already gonna spend money just get your money back okay just an easy way and then the next thing i want to share with you guys are the dates august the 19th through the 27th is for rouge and for vib it is the 20th through the 27th so they the rouge has an extra day so don't forget to do that also I was talking to my girl CJ. She does have a video up with her recommendations and I'm not going to try to repeat some of hers because I absolutely love her list. So I'm going to link her list and her video down below. Not her list, but her video down below so you guys can check it out. But she was like, girl, I forgot to tell Rouge that they can get the $100 gift card. So I think you have to have how much, how many? I think you have to have 1500 points or something like that in order to get your gift card you know change exchange your points into the gift card but don't forget that because that would be a great time to get the gift card and then turn back around and use the gift card and get 20 percent off okay that's how you <laughs> multitask with your money okay so i definitely wanted to talk about that i am not going to repeat i do have a sephora recommendation and wish list playlist so i will link that in the i cards up here or in the description box below there'll be a quite a few videos so you guys can reference but i definitely want to just cover those type of things so the, the first thing y'all know we're going to talk about is hair right that now i have normal to dry hair i guess i should have mentioned that in terms of my hair too i have very very dry hair so if you need some hydration those two bad boys are definitely going to help you with that the first product that i'm going to talk about is the diva curl high shine i am wearing it in my hair today i really love this because this is the only oil that i have that is super lightweight that is silicone free it's paraben free and it is sulfate free usually this wouldn't be sulfate have sulfates in it usually your shampoos does but still it's a good product i love this because if you have high porosity hair and you have fine thin hair or you just have fine thin hair in general oils can weigh your hair down i really like how this one is super lightweight it gives you a high shine like it says and a really nice finish this is like a finishing spray so i would not use this in my lock method which is liquid oil cream if you are a natural girl you know what i'm talking about but i use this as a finisher so um when i'm taking down my twist when i use when i took down my twist out i put some of this i sprayed it in my hand and kind of rubbed it through this is going to help with the friction and the frizz so this is going to give you a more polished look if you want something that's going to like just take your hair up a notch in your natural hair girl or a curly girl you definitely want to get something like this so i highly recommend the high shine the next product i do have a review on this i just did it like uh maybe a week or two ago and this is this is the be gentle be kind avocado and quinoa co-wash 
by Briogeo. I do have that video if you guys want to check it out. It is not a long video at all because girl Missy Pelo like this one okay and it was just really really good and this one is sulfate free silicone free and paraben free these two are two brands that are going could to be those silicone free brands which I really really do enjoy and um, I have something to talk about that in a later video in terms of sil silicones and if you are getting certain kind of symptoms we going to talk about that but i really really do enjoy this this retails for 30 something dollars but girl get your discount you know what i'm saying i might pick up another one of these you do the get the smaller bottle in 16 ounces there is a larger bottle which i feel like that's the salon you know i might end up picking up that one just because i love this co-wash so much i really like it and i feel like it's worth the buy if you want to know any more details definitely check out that review let's move on to skincare y'all know skincare i'm going to talk about more than some color i have normal to like i don't know i don't even want to say combination i would say dry to combination that is a crazy range but i get really oily around my nose but i get dry around my cheeks i guess it's still combo but most people associate combo with like oily combo you know what i mean i have like dry combo so it can be dry it can be normal it can be ba based upon the season like right now it is oily normal oily and then in the fall and winter i get normal dry okay so i'm i can kind of mention those type of things but i love some extra hydration y'all 40 gonna be nice to me okay um i turned 40 this year and so i am really really i've always been into skincare but i really want to be into skincare even more so these are ones that i am going to always pull from and i'm trying not to do any repeats but if there's a repeat please forgive me y'all let's just go ahead and go down the line the one i have been loving i've been loving this brand and i am definitely going to do a full like re review of the brand and the products i do have some that i need to try more but this is the kale and green tea spinach vitamins cleanser this is so good i was introduced to this by mel thompson here on youtube love her channel and uh it's just it's a really good cleanser it doesn't strip the skin i feel like any skin type would love this this is clean uh skincare by the way and it has that little leaf on the Sephora website. So definitely check this out. It is a nice foam. A little bit goes a long way because of how syrupy and how thick and viscous this is. But I really, really do enjoy this cleanser. I really like it and it's one of my favorite cleansers of all time. Okay, so the next thing in your skincare routine is a toner. I do have a video on why toners are important, but really, really quickly, I will let you know it brings your skin back to its original like PF balance. So there's a pH PF. I wasn't what was I thinking about? The pH balance. I'm sorry. It really just brings back that glow. Your skin is supple and it's receptive to the skincare that you're about to apply to it or your moisturizers your serums and everything so a toner is really really important well y'all they just came out with the kombucha 11% uh, AHA exfoliation power toner I love this I went to a <laughs> I went to an event so I picked up these before I've always been in love with the kales I, uh, I think I've talked about this in a favorite video before but the kombucha is new but y'all as soon as put, I put this on my face it looked like I had put on a radiance uh, primer like instantly like I could instantly tell in the retexturization of my skin like this is so dope I'm just saying it's so good okay so I don't want to spend too much time but it, this one it comes out I think um, it retails for like $38 but girl that's why they had a sale so you can get it but I feel like that this is definitely worth it I have not come with a review but I definitely will be coming with a review because I do have the larger size as well but I gave they gave me the itty bitty 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 they gave me the mini minis okay the itty bitty minis so I really do love this and I have been using this y'all and I am getting the larger size of this and this is the super berry hydrate and glow dream mask I told y'all you know spoiler alert of a little bit of my wish list but the super berry hydrating glow mask this is good it smells so divine so good and i love that this is clean effective skincare 
because y'all sometimes like cruelty free vegan and all this like super clean is not as effective as the chemicals let's just be real but this is effective clean makeup you know what i'm saying so i really do enjoy this now that's the dream mask let's talk about just like a moisturizer that i would buy over and over again i think this is my second or third that i have gone through and this is the belief true cream aqua bomb this is the bomb it is so good i feel like it's great for all skin types this is k beauty i really do like it and um like it absorbs into the skin really quickly and your makeup glides on like a, a dream i was trying to say a dream and i ended up rolling my r's dream okay it's like a dream i really do enjoy this and i just finished another one of these and so i had to talk about this because this is probably my most used moisturizer out of all the moisturizers that i've ever used this one and the one by loxiton um is my most used moisturizer so i wanted to definitely tell you guys about these so let's talk about oils i am an oil fiend i feel like an oil is a carrier for the skin it's one of those very thin type of serums an oil can be a serum but i actually use mine in conjunction with a serum so the mirror red multivitamin infusion oil is one of the best oils that i have used this is a pricey item let's just get real we are talking about pricey items that we don't want to spend all that money on and i want to say this one's like 78 dollars but this oil y'all this is one of the best oils would I pay $78 on a Sephora VIB sale like this one? Yeah, because I'm getting 20% off. But to just spit out that money and know that I can save? No, girl, we're going to save some money. But this one is a really, really good oil. Now, I use my oil before I put on my serum just because, to me, it pushes it further into the skin. And that's actually how my esthetician told me you should do. You should put your oil on, then serum okay then your moisturizer you and then your spf because your spf is that barrier between the sun y'all know uh, okay amen but this is really really good and i have talked about this in the favorites video too but i don't think i've ever come in a sephora vib and talk about it but y'all this bottle's almost gone i'm getting kind of sad and that's how you know when you have a good product is that when you get sad when it's almost gone so this is really really great and also y'all I have raved about Kula, but I have to tell y'all if you can tell how much I have used of this product. And this is the Kula Sun Silk Drops. It is full spectrum. It protects you from UVA, UVB, IR, and HEV. Those are like blue lights, okay? So your cell phone, your computer. I am in IT, so I'm in front of a computer. Y'all, you in front of a computer right now so this protects your skin because there is some deterioration that happens in front of a blue light too and if you use your cell phone and y'all know everybody and a mama got a cell phone okay um so this is spf 30 i really really do enjoy this and i am getting sad that i'm getting low but i'm happy that i'm going through my products and using what i love so i love this because I don't get this doesn't have the like smelly this doesn't have the SPF scent it's like a nice citrus scent first of all second of all I don't get that like white cast I feel like this is more like a serum slash primer so it's like hydrating if you have something like the Smashbox primerizer I think this is a notch up because of the SPF so I'm not piling on so many products and y'all one thing I hate with passion is when my I've put on all these products and then my foundation starts to peel because it doesn't like what's under it and I don't know what skincare product did it but I hate when my skin peels and you're you get those little pilly balls and then you gotta start back over I don't have to do that with this I really do enjoy it this is cruelty free vegan gluten free um, it says farm to face so it's a plant-based product I really like it go Kula Let's talk about the brows because I feel like that this is essential and I'm only mentioning this because my girl CJ brought me on to this and I feel like that this is a product that has changed my brow game y'all and it is the Bravo conditioning primer by Benefit not not the brow gel this is the brow primer i really do enjoy this and i feel like it's changed my brow game no matter what pencil you use but i really do like this when it comes in when sets like this i do love this and this is the precisely my brow pencil really do enjoy this i do believe that they are 
there are better, less expensive brow pencils, but this one is bomb. Uh, you know, when you use something like this, it is great to use like what it's designed to be used with, but this is still bomb on its own. So this is the Bravo. This is the Precisely My Brow Pencil. Really love both of these. And I do feel like that they are both worth purchasing, especially when you get a set. Y'all look at the sets. Don't just look at them individual. Try to look at the sets and see because a lot of those save you a lot of money. And then on top of your 20%, girl, pound for that. I'm just saying. Let's talk about a concealer, okay? I can't come on here and not talk about concealer. We got to talk about base products, okay? We just talked about skincare, okay? Concealer. This is the Bare Skin by Bare Minerals. This is the Complete Coverage Serum Concealer. It is very liquidy, but y'all, this is so good. I saw that people raved about this. Y'all, I'm not one to get on the train wagon of trans, but when it talks about a base product, I, I'm there. Okay, I'm there. This is so good. I have it in the shade medium and I really, really do enjoy this. I'm definitely going to be picking up another one. I love how thin it is. It is, it spreads very beautifully and it's one of those buildable type of products, but it's a serum too, y'all. So it's doing something for the under eye and really wakens it up. And y'all, y'all know with kids, mm, you need to be woken up a couple of times. Stay woke. Okay, stay woke. The next product I have talked about, this is the most recent, like, foundation, like, love, like, rave that I talked about. I did do a first impression of this, so definitely check out that because I talk about how much it is. By the way, it's $68, but I talk about how many shades. I talk about what my shade is. By the way, it's medium 17 in this. I did get this complimentary from Influencer because I do reviews for Influencers as well. And so, um, but I would have picked it up doing Sephora VIB, honestly. Um, that's why I'm incorporating it in here. If you, first of all, for it being pricey, get a sample, y'all. Okay? Wear it around the store. Go outside. See how it looks. I could tell initially that I was going to really like this. It's not to me that it's not like one of those 24-hour wear I'll let you know that which I didn't say in my video because it was a first impression but it's definitely a long-lasting um, foundation which it does claim it doesn't claim to be 24 hours it does claim though that's long-lasting I feel like long-lasting is like 8 to 10 hours okay and this one did really well on me all day but again I have that normal to um, combo skin it did not bother me around my nose it still looked beautiful as the oils broke through it didn't break up on my face I really do enjoy this I do feel like it is worth the money and I would have picked it up anyway so I'm just glad they gave it to me but I would pick up another one because Pat is the mother okay last two products that I'm going to talk about are the this is the Fenty Beauty I want to say this is the Universal Balm gloss and so I really do enjoy this. And so um, it's almost gone. This is like, there are only a few lip glosses that I have completely gone through. I've gone through a MAC Spite. I've gone through Oh Baby. I've gone through a Buxom, Cel um, I'm on Celeste. Amy, um, the Diamond Buxom. There's a Champagne Buxom that I can't remember the name of. But Fenty is also one of my favorite. I can, I'm about to go through this. I'm going to pick up another one. I'm going to pick up Fussy. So there you go. And a new mascara that I have been loving is the YSL The Shock. That is what I'm wearing today. I love Voluminous. I have not had this look in a long time. And it's probably because I have been wearing like less than impressive mascaras. And when I put this on, I was like, girl, yes, you, you did something for the lashes. I'm excited about this sale. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, comment, and let me know what you are picking up and what you, what you're most excited about in this sale. Don't forget the dates for VIB and Rouge. I didn't see anything about Beauty Insider, but let me know you guys if you have dates for the Beauty Insider because they didn't include that in our info. So Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.